John in his speech spoke about the exodus of women, particularly and caregivers from the workforce um, over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic and levels in the female workforce being down to what they were in the 1970s. Um, I'm wondering if you guys are seeing evidence of that within your own workforces and if there's anything specific you guys are doing to address uh, specifically that loss from our workforce. We have seen a, a decrease in the number of women, both at the college age, kids coming out of college. We used to hire probably 55, maybe even 60 percent females versus males uh, coming out of college. That has shifted in the college grads that we're seeing now. It's probably more in the neighborhood of 45 percent women. So even at the college age, that has changed. And, and I think part of that is just the numbers of opportunities available to, to women in the workforce, uh, which is terrific to see. Uh, and amongst our more experienced women, you know, we've increased maternity and paternity time off for parents to bond with their babies, to help solve personal issues, personal care issues with adults or, or children, and to save on, on the daycare costs, which, you know, as John mentioned in his presentation, have increased tremendously. Um, you know, trying to continue to increase that the diversity of, of people in our workforce continues to be a focus area for us. And I think we'll continue to drive uh, the success we, we've seen in the past. Typically in manufacturing, it, it, some of the, the roles um, females are not really attracted to. So we have done some outreach and some specific groups to try to um, you know, attract more female applicants to our to our facility. But recently, um, we added a couple of new positions. Uh, one of them was a training and development manager. And I did secure, you know, a, a female to come in for that role. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about some of the other roles that we did fill that were um, um, filled by females. And, um, you know, we, we are trying to work within schedules, you know, so if there are any, um, you know, daycare issues or needing to, to leave to pick up uh, children, we're trying to, mon you know, to accommodate that when we can. Um, so those are the uh, kind of the biggest things that we're doing right now. Here at Takeda, we actually have, um, we've really had gender parity uh, remaining from pre-COVID through COVID to, to where we are right now. Um, and, and I think that I think that some of the things that have, have helped for that would be, you know, we do have a gender parity TRG. I mentioned there's there's 10 Takeda resource groups that we have for our employees. So, you know, that's that is a support network and a, a resource for our employees. I, I also think that our the flexibility that we have with our hybrid way of working has certainly helped um, to to keep the, the female um, population where it is for, for Takeda. I mean, for me personally, I can say that, you know, going through COVID, um, the flexibility that we had here allowed me to be at home still do my job and have my children home doing remote schooling. So, you know, all those things I think help. Um, and, and that's, that's why I think we're at where, where we are. And, you know, I think we're always keeping a pulse on that though. And, and we do want to, um, you know, not lose sight of that. 